Hey everyone, this is Thomas at Vetro Gaming, and we have a Game Boy here that has a broken battery cover, and as you can see in here, it's got part of this battery terminal completely detached, so we are going to fix that. So the first thing we're going to do is just trash this broken uh, battery compartment and this nasty battery terminal. I should probably be wearing gloves, but it is what it is. So now we are going to unscrew the Game Boy. So the first thing to do is unscrew these six screws to open it up. Okay, and by the way, I'm using a tri-wing screwdriver for this, and um, the shell should just pop right off, and you will now need a, a cross-wing screwdriver to unscrew these three screws. Um, both screwdrivers you need, I'll, I'll link them in the description if you need them. Okay, and uh, before I take it the rest of the way apart, I'm going to um, pop in a... Uh, replacement shell uh, back cover and just to uh, just to see if it powers on to begin with and no it does not so we might have to do a little bit of troubleshooting for this so I'm just gonna um, take this Game Boy the rest of the way apart all right there we go as you can see there's some, uh, I don't know what that is, it might be corrosion, I don't know how it could be corrosion, but there's something up there on the ribbon cable, that could be the problem. Um, and the buttons are very dirty, I think all this really needs is probably a, ooh, a deep clean and then it'll work. That's just, that's, that's what I'm hoping, I'm just gonna, before I try to reflow any connections with a soldering iron or something like that. I think I'm just going to give it a deep clean. So I've got some 99% alcohol in this lid right here. And I'm just going to clean off this ribbon cable. This really, I'm hoping that since this was really dirty that that might be the only problem is the little bit of crud on these contacts on the ribbon cable. So make sure the buttons work gonna focus on these contacts right here this is the d-pad a and b start select make sure these are really clean for a good connection assuming the game boy works to begin with if it doesn't then that'd be pretty sad um and of course the speaker very dirty so i'm gonna give that a nice little clean Ooh, that's Pretty disgusting. I'm gonna need a lot of Q-tips for this bad boy. So there's also some crud right here on this battery terminal, so that could also be causing a um, a faulty connection. So try to get that cleaned up as best as possible. Okay, so I've got this terminal um, cleaned up as as much as I can, um, and I'm also going to then just douse a bunch of rubbing alcohol in this uh, power switch. Then also might as well get some down in this volume wheel. I think that's enough cleaning to uh, see if this Game Boy is going to power on um, without any other changes. some batteries okay powered on I think I might just need to do a little bit more cleaning so I've got the Game Boy cleaned up as much as possible so now I'm gonna go ahead and begin installing the Vetro Gaming um, drop-in backlight mod so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, insulating films on the um, LCD and the um, the PCB board and begin installing. And most of these, uh, if you're using a, a uh, original shell, you'll probably have some adhesive 
Um, but if you don't, then you could use some double-sided sticky tape and uh, put a few strips there. Um, it's also not a requirement, um, but I'm gonna do that really quick. All right, cool. So I got the uh, sticky tape installed into the uh, in the shell. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this custom fit uh, screen lens into place. There we go. And then we're going to put our first bracket right here in that corner. We're going to peel off the protective film and place the screen right here in the corner. Okay, so now what you want to do is put your other centering bracket into place right there. And then turn it over and have a look. Might be helpful to go ahead and peel off this protective film right here. And it looks good. It looks perfect. No dust behind the screen and it looks perfectly aligned. So we are going to go ahead and continue piecing this together. So grab your PCB board and attach it just like so. And then all you have to do is grab your Game Boy motherboard and attach the ribbon right here and lock it down with those two tabs right here. And then before we get ahead of ourselves, we should go ahead and put in all the buttons and membranes. I'm gonna throw in the D-pad. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now then, before we uh, screw everything down, I just wanna give it another quick little test. Uh, we might could put the first screw in, just right here. Now that I think about it. Okay, got that first screw in, and let's just Put the back on really quick, chuck in some batteries, and then try and turn it on to see if it is working. Okay, and the brightness sensor is working fine. What about the volume here? I'm going to power it on and off really quick again, see if I can hear the volume. And there's the volume. So let's go ahead and screw it all the way back together. So I'm gonna drop in the last two screws right here and there. And I'm going to put in the infrared sensor here and the power switch down here. Perfect. Got it all screwed together. Now we're gonna put this piece in and I've got the uh, infrared sensor tucked behind there like this it'll go down when you uh, close it up so that's not a problem and then just put these six screws back into place can't forget your sticker nice all right, let's throw in the batteries. And as long as it works, then I would say a job well done. I'll be throwing this Game Boy up on my store. 
Um, if you would like the Vetro Gaming Kit, that's also on my store. Thank you for watching.